Well, hello, Kate Pence with Nurse Direct Consulting. It's so nice to have you here as a guest on the Business Spotlight. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. I, I know that that people are going to be interested in what you have to say about your business. I think it's kind of fascinating what you do. You've um, carved out a nice niche, like you were saying to me earlier, that it's a, a very much needed service. So I'm, I'm really glad to be uh, interviewing you today. So tell us what you do and for how long. So I have a consulting business and I focus on clinical consulting, healthcare operation consulting, and legal nurse consulting. I've been a registered nurse. I have a master's degree in nursing um, with a focus on executive leadership, and I'm also a licensed administrator, and I've been in senior care for 22 years. And so I've collectively combined that experience and that training and that knowledge and opened my consulting business. And I did that um, roughly a year ago, um, kind of as COVID was winding down. Good for you. Well, that's a lot of credentials. I, I love that. Yeah. And 22 years in senior care, that's a lot of experience. A lot yeah. of experience. Well, that's awesome. So so you've been in the business for a year now. Um, who is your best customer when it comes to your nurse direct consulting services? If if I if I could refer somebody to you, who would that be? Um, so I partner with attorneys and I have I do have one of my customers customers as an attorney, and we work together on litigation, um, primarily in nursing home uh, litigation. And I, I value his partnership because we we tend to, to learn from each other. I've got knowledge on one side and he's got legal knowledge and we make a good team. Uh -huh. Good. So mainly you working, you're working with the legal profession side of it then. Mm -hmm. um, do you also do work for um, the facilities or do you do anything like that? Yes, I have been contracted to help with uh, clinical type consulting as far as regulatory compliance. I've been contracted to do operations healthcare for management for maybe new business owners or um, business owners that are looking to grow potentially. Okay. And I've also provided uh, classes or I've spoke to clinical professionals related on documentation improvement to keep them out of litigation. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Um, so you said you kind of started your business after COVID uh, was kind of winding down, but was there anything that COVID, um, were there any business changes that you had to make or had to consider that that COVID-19 made necessary? No, honestly, my business came about because of COVID-19 and I was looking for another avenue of income because uh, a lot of us couldn't foresee what was going to happen during covid and um, also, I feel like there was a niche in the market that had bloomed for legal nurse consultants and, and a lot of litigation happening. And so I just took that opportunity to take that route. And okay. so here I am today. Okay. Well, so in, in, in effect, COVID did have an impact on your business because it yeah. became because of it. I, I know a lot of businesses have um, resulted, have made a lot of great changes because of COVID too. And so there were some good things that came from COVID. I guess. Yeah, a lot of us were facing burnout in oh. the COVID time, and so we were all looking for other opportunities. Mm -hmm. So this just happened to be um, something that I could get into and that I enjoy. Perfect. So, um, what what do you because of the of all the things that you've done because of the pandemic? I, I guess how does the the pandemic affect your day to day work in 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 your business now? So, are you still masking when you? go to the facility and those kinds of things. I don't even know the answer to that. And I guess a lot of my work is remote. If I okay. do step into a facility, then I abide by their, their rules and their directions. And that's usually based on the COVID numbers in the area. So okay. if they're still masking, then, then I abide by that. Okay. Awesome. So you've been a business owner for a year um, mm -hmm. and you've been involved in business for a long time, but what's been your biggest learning since you've been a business owner? Since I've been a business owner, yeah. I would say it's probably um, the startup process and not have been a business owner before the startup process, um, all the paperwork, the fees, and the commitment to growing. Commitment. The commitment to growing is a full-time job. Oh, isn't it? So tell me more about, about that. What, do you, what, what has been your commitment? What, what surprised you about that? Well, um, I immediately got into kind of going to trial lawyer conventions and, and advertising myself and uh, business cards and picking a brand and networking and 
you know, trying to reach out to attorneys, just cold calling and, and trying to figure out who needed my service and how I could best help them. Um, I had a friend who's an attorney back in my hometown, and he's the one that really helped me get in connection with different avenues to explore. And I, I would have to say that was a big part of my, my start with my business. Mm-hmm. Good. That's interesting. I, I always think that, um, the harder the work, harder you work, the luckier you get and all the work you were doing and with all the cold calling and stuff probably got you in front of that guy, which made you have a conversation, which helped you get where you are, which was yeah. all about working. So cool. Yep. Yeah. So, a, lot of, a lot of work for sure. Yeah. Um, so we do the newsletter, this, this interview will go out in the newsletter. Do you have anything that you'd want to include in the newsletter? We could say, you know, uh, do you have any tips or ideas or anything like that you would want to put, have us put in the newsletter? Oh, um, as far as business owners? Sure. Yeah. Either that or, or, or I, I would say, do you even have a compliance tip that, you know, if, if someone could learn from you, that would be, I think, lovely too. I would say my biggest compliance tip would be, um, you know, from someone in my position that's a nurse and documenting would be, be very careful about what you're documenting. Know that what you're documenting could be read out loud in court one day, and you want to make sure that whatever you wrote in that chart, you're willing to hear in a courtroom. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I would have never even thought of that before, but right. So you wouldn't want to say anything that was derogatory or opinionated necessarily. Is that maybe what you're saying or? Yes. As that's okay. Yeah. All right. So your industry, you're, you've been in nursing for a long time and you still technically are in the, you're definitely in the healthcare industry. What's most inspiring about the industry to you? You've been in it a long time. It must be inspiring. I have. And uh, my passions always lied with geriatrics and senior care. So I've, I've done a lot of senior living and um, outpatient clinics focused on seniors and you know, these folks have paved the way for us and here we are, they need our help now. And so I think it's very important that we take care of our elderly population. Um, and so I've tried to do that with different avenues and, and in my legal business, some of that is, you know, helping the families once things have not gone well after poor outcomes. Right. Well, I love that, that passion about you. And I, you know, our society isn't as age focused and uh, lifting the elderly up as some communities are. So, right. I mean, it's like, yeah, oh, beauty and youth is all we focus on here. It seems like in the U S you know, maybe I'm just making a generalization, but I love old people too. geriatrics. I love that. And I love that you feel that way. I think it's important. Yeah. We're all here because of someone. That is mm-hmm. right. Yeah. And I learned many, many things from my grandparents that, that I still have and I'm passing on to my own children and grandchildren now. So. Yeah, cool. Well, what's the best way for people to find you if they want to know more information about you or look you up? Uh, maybe your website, phone, and email. Yeah, so I have a website. It's nursedirectconsulting.com. Okay. And my email is nursedirect at outlook.com. Okay. And my phone number is 620-966-3181. And, and those are the best ways to reach me. Wonderful. Well, do you have any final words for us um, before we end our interview today? Uh, I don't think so. It's been a pleasure. I, I'm it's, honored to be chosen for this. Well, I think this is a very interesting thing and people are going to be interested in. So I want to thank you very much. And uh, so this is Kate Pence with clinical cons- uh, with Nurse Direct Consulting, and she can be reached at 620-966-3181. And you're located in Wichita, Kansas. I want to tell people that because some people may call you from outside of the state. So thank you again, Kate, and I will be talking to you soon. Welcome. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.